Welcome back, everybody, to another freaking episode. We are back with some more, and I'm going to be jumping directly into creating our concoctions. A uh, couple, two more, two more that we can add to the list here. <clears throat> Very simple. This is a, this is called, this is stupid simple, but how about a simple chocolate milk and vanilla milk for the kids? Yo, they're called pup cups. I agree. So let's see here. Let's do pup cups. This will be, uh, I guess, pup cut, pup cups, um, choco, choco, no, no, choco, choco, um, yeah, 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 we'll do, well, I guess I could spell it out all the way, right, chocolate, chocolate, pup cups, we'll do milk, simple, just milk, with a little bit of, not dark chocolate, that's not what the kids want, they want sweet chocolate, a little bit of that, now, I want to get more majority of milk, right, probably more majority of milk, a little bit of syrup, like chocolate milk, dude. Chocolate pup cups. For the kids, right? I know, like, there's no kids in this game. But, like, honestly, it's kind of cool, though. It was a good idea. Now, I think kids would really think whipped cream would be really cool with their chocolate milk. And that actually does happen at some of the coffee shops here in town. They do add, um, uh, like, whipped cream added to it. Now, this person didn't say to add whipped cream. But I think I might want to add it. <laughs> just because I think it gives it a nice little, little spin to it. Uh, usually they'll just have regular whipped cream, not chocolate. Uh, we could have a little bit of chocolate. You know, it'd be extra sweet though. Let's do no topping. Let's just do regular whipped cream like I would see at uh, our local coffee shop and just do that. Okay, chocolate pup cup. Here we go. Let's go with it. Let's see who's going to like this one, right? Yo, the teens love it. Of course the teens, the kids, dude. They love the chocolate milk. Absolutely. Send it. So that's one. The other one obviously would be uh, vanilla. Did I spell that right? Vanilla? Did I? I spelled that right. Yeah, I'm not I'm not too much of an idiot, right? Vanilla pup cup. Same concept. We're going to do uh, milk. And then we're going to do a little bit of... No, no, no. We're going to do syrup. Some vanilla syrup. Now, I, I'll be honest with you. I've never had vanilla milk before. I've had chocolate milk before, but never vanilla milk. But I'm, I'm up for anything. Do a little bit of that. Send it off as well. Should be the same thing, right? Teens should be, you know, obviously, yeah, very happy with that. Even the casuals were, were actually a little bit more happy with that than the chocolate milk itself. So there we go. Nice. Very good. A couple of pup cups have come through. Um, and then our other co 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 la 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 concoction here is actually a cr Christmas cheer coffee. I think that's what we're going to be calling it, right? Christmas coffee. So Christmas uh, cheer uh, coffee. This is going to be a hot coffee. We're going to do a half espresso. And then we're going to go white chocolate syrup. Okay. White chocolate syrup. Let's see here. Uh, where we got? Where we got? Where we got? White chocolate. Okay. White chocolate syrup. Gingerbread syrup. Oh, my Lord. Uh, where we got? Where we got? Where we got? Gingerbread, gingerbread, gingerbread. Right there. So I did in the last episode say I was like, I, we need a winter drink because we were actually lacking winter uh, drinks. Uh, cranberry. I'm assuming cranberry. Cranberry syrup here. Um, we have cranberry. Does not look like we have cranberry. We have raspberry, but not cranberry. Eggnog. Okay, let's do eggnog at least. We'll do eggnog. Dark chocolate syrup. Oh my god, dude! This sounds like a stomach ache. And then, uh, <laughs> and then it's a matcha as well. Holy hell! Uh, wow, what an incredible drink this is. Christmas cheer. So, how much on the espresso? The espresso needs to be higher. It needs to be half. That's as high as I can go. That's about half. Um, when it comes to one sixteenth of white chocolate, I'm not going to be able to do that. When it comes to one eighth, uh eggnog i i'm not gonna be able to do that we have this cup filled to the brim of ingredients here and i don't even have cranberry syrup which i assume is what you were doing <laughs> but uh yeah so cranberry was in it it says hopefully it will look colorful and be good for winter and autumn and cover some trendable ingredients so yeah it will be good for winter for sure um no autumn seasonality here uh, but at least there's hot so that's good for autumn at least uh, there is no request of foam and there is no request of whipped cream. It seems like, oh, sorry, there is. There's caramel whipped cream. Uh, so we'll do that. Caramel whipped cream. I think it looks pretty cool. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, Christmas sheer coffee. Everything but the cranberries, which I'm, which I guess if I were to anything, I, I could replace it with raspberry. 
Um, but I don't want to like do that in case that's not correct. So Christmas cheer coffee, send it to the hatch. Here we go. Christmas cheer coffee. What are we going to get? This is like everything in a cup. The expert. The expert likes everything in a cup very, very well. So that really tailors to the to the to the expert. But hey, we actually got a hot winter coffee, which is something I, we needed anyways for a while. So there we go. Wonderful. All right, let's go back to the shop. So in the last episode, I did talk about this whole roaster thing and why this roaster wasn't work. I was told that there is a hang on. Let's pause time so I don't like lose my uh, my freshness on these beans. I was told that there is a little bit of a bug, and some people are also kind of like dealing with it as well. Um, when it comes to your roaster, right? You're a roaster. There's no specialization. Let me just say this. There's no special specialization for roasting. So you can't just assign them to a specialization. You can't assign them to a, a select role of roasting. So you have to unassign maybe. Do you want to unassign? So we're going to unassign Carlo. And then maybe that will help. I don't know. So Carlo is unassigned. Click on him. Assign, counter, or roaster. One slot remaining. Roaster. Very good. That's how we do it. Awesome. Now, he should be able to roast. Yes. 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 Great. So, now we have a roaster. Very, very good. Carlo is still our roaster. We didn't have to, like, make... You know, we didn't have to, like, do anything else. We have the same guy. Now, we can finally go ahead and use 82 specialty coffee, which is the most, the most we've ever done. The most we've ever, ever done. So, let's see here. Roast 2K. Doesn't look like we could change how many pounds we could do. We could do one pound of coffee, but we can roast it nonetheless. Thank you very much. High expectations. Very well. Uh, new coffee shop unlocked. Emerald City. Holy crap. <laughs> very cool. Okay, so let's see what happens here. Let's see what the roasting's all about. It is now, like, extremely loud. With this roaster going off. But I'm just curious. I am very curious to see. Oh, by the way, somebody did uh, mention to me that I am missing. Hang on a sec. I am missing a uh, blender. I think I'm missing a blender. Am I missing a blender here? I am. I'm missing a blender. Thank you so much for letting me know. You know who you are. Blender has been added. Okay. I did not realize I was missing a blender this entire time. There we go. Blender has been uh, put upon now. Okay. So let's see how this is actually working so the market has normalized i want to see where these guys are what they're doing here so we have a couple things here i would like to use this use this this machine will be brewed will brew the select coffee at a lower quality that's bad uh because max brewing quality is 80 and this is 82. 80 is the best that we've ever had though so even if we did brew this at a um at a low quality we can still at least get that 80 percent because if you look over here Oh, sell call coffee with quality of at least 85. That, we don't even have that. We don't even hit that. So that, that's a little bit of an F on us. Okay, that's fine. Sorry, that that last coffee wasn't 80. All right, I'm mixing up 80 and 85 then. That's all right. So this is where we stand. Yeah, we stand here at Bronze Beans and continue to stand at Bronze Beans. But we do have Emerald City unlocked. New coffee shop that we can bring into play here, which is very good. We have a roaster. Right? We have a roaster, we have a couple baristas, generalist things going on in that and so on and so forth, right? Um Yeah, advanced roaster, intermediate. So the other things that we need to do to actually get these coffees running that we need or want is these company company rewards or these roasting challenges. So if we want to make coffee, right? If we want to make coffee, what's going on here? Like, okay. No, no, no. Okay, I I, I didn't mean to, to make this. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. They'll, they'll figure it out. Don't worry about it. They'll figure it out. They'll order more coffee when it, the time is coming. But I need a more focus on this. I need to focus on roasting challenges. So roasting challenges would be the Cafe Tech uh, Barista. So that uh, these new machines, right? These new machines will give us the ability to go ahead and uh, roast these high quality uh, beans. So I need to focus on this. So how do you do that? Well, very simple. You go to the HQ now. You go to roasting. And you got to get these things and you got to do these challenges. So new challenges, these roasting points is going to be very, very big. So you got to do these. These are big. Uh, these are the things we need. If we get these machines, right? If we get these machines, we can go ahead and start doing more. Um, what I mean by more is I mean like, yeah, thank you so much. Uh, like roasting our coffee, right? New currency, ready for a challenge. Very good. Okay. Roast two coffees with dark roast. Interesting. Okay, so that's pretty simple to do, right? Very, very simple to do. 
Okay, so we have 300. 300 roasting points. So can we do something with 300 roasting points? Okay, unlock two low quality varieties. Alrighty. What the heck does that mean? Continent unlocked. Available notes. All these different freaking things. This is like, this then like turns into like a lot. <laughs> a lot, right? So to get this or any of these, uh, we, we we have to do these freaking challenges and they, 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 they take a while dude i will say they they do take a while they take a lot of grinding fire and embers right this would have to be a new i think that's a grinder there I, I think that is a grinder i want these a brewer i want this so how do we go towards this we need to roast five coffees with a dark roast five coffees with a medium roast five coffees with a light roast and we've actually done one of each so i need to do all of this just in order to get this machine just in order to roast my high quality coffee that's what we have to do so i gotta kind of like balance a little bit here we're gonna go ahead and uh, find some beans here uh, let's go with again i guess the yunnan which we've done let's go here and then let's oh god we're gonna need to hire another roaster unless we put carlo into the roaster we could put carlo into the roaster there's a lot of other like obviously the other shops i don't know do i do that or do i like go focus on my other shops for right now to kind of clean up shop real right hang on a sec let's let's look back here hang on let's let's see let's go to ceo uh not pick, pull out loans here let's go to this let's see where our idle income is for some of these locations maybe since i have like one hundred seventy-six thousand dollars, i could like invest into some more employees new employees and like especially like this is doing five services this is doing five services this is doing no like this is doing three services and this is doing no services uh, so maybe i should take care of pinewood and lake celeste right now that's m might be the best way to come if we could increase the idle income for these two stores that would obviously help us overall and and so on and so forth right so let's go to lake celeste let's go let's go clean up right let's go clean up our other places is it this lake celeste yeah Let's make sure that these things are healthy. They're going. They're doing well. One barista. No employee with a cashier. Uh, this is what I'm talking about, right? So let's hire somebody. Let's hire somebody that is, excuse me, a cashier at a budget of potentially $70,000. Send me. That's probably a lot. <laughs> probably a lot for a cashier. 288, 289, 245, 274, 277. Probably going to go for the 288. Yeah, is that the 88? It was it 88 or 89? 288, 289. So Nathaniel, we'll go ahead and hire Nathaniel, who is a level four. Level four gives us the ability to add them to a specialization because they are that high enough level. And they will be a supply manager here. We will activate that. We make less than 10. Um, as far as like which beans are we going to have, I would like to have high quality beans. And we're going to do the Car Car novel. Um We'll do just... We'll do three pounds. Yeah, we'll do three pounds. And that will be that. Food, same thing. When we have less than uh, less than five, I guess, is fine. We will do a quality, a quality food here. Increase it. And then we will do one crate at a time or three crates. Let's do one crate at a time. That's fine. One crate at a, at a time. Ingredients as well. We will make sure this is a good quality ingredient, regular ingredient. We will do two crates at a time. Four crates at a time we'll do two crates two crates at a time and we will order that when we have less than 40 okay yeah all right so there we go nathaniel is now working as our cashier new challenge ready don't tell me that yet let's go and fast forward time here then the next thing i want to do is i want to add uh not research services yeah we want to add rewards program we want to add uh, music program or music and then this is the new thing that we got right so the new thing that we got was compositables, which we haven't even like looked into yet, right? So how did we get this? Very simple. We got this from Sasquatch, from owning Sasquatch 100%. This is compositables, I guess, um, which is, I guess, good for the environment. So save the earth while growing your reputation. Customer's reputation will increase by 20%. This would be good if we were starting out, but we're not. Like, what do I mean by starting out is starting out maybe a new store, right? Uh, $10,000 a month is a hefty, hefty fine that I'm just not in the mood for right now. But it's good to know that we have that. So now we got to kind of like zone in on which way we want to go, right? Do we want to go for ingot, which will give us some crazy topping, I think? Uh, do we want to go for a label Gucci? Uh, no. That gives us macaroons. This is really the way we want to go. 
We want to go for the Triton because the Triton has a machine that we don't have. And I think I'd rather have the machine rather than the macaroons or the whip topping. So $414,000 is something we are gunning for now. $414,000. Now, here we can add them and give them a roaster. But is it necessary for them to have a roaster right now? It's not. And the reason why is because we don't have any beans that can give us that quality of 85. So this is going to be a bronze bean coffee shop until we can figure out and find out how to give the customers 60 or sorry to give them uh, 85 quality coffee, which we know how to do. We just got to do it right. Uh, so foam is actually trending today in summertime. So let me just actually help them out right real quick. Add a featured drink foam in the summertime. There's so much. Uh, I love the coca. That's hot. That's not good for the summertime. That's hot. Coffee Tokyo. Vern special. Perfect. Got foam. Got cold. Looking great. 80, uh, 68. Yes. Yes. Vern special. Thank you. Uh, next. Next would be uh, la, 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 la. summer sip. Perfect. Summer. Oh, this is a good drink. It's a summer drink. It's a cold drink. And it's a foam. Is it foam? Yeah, it's a foam drink. Very good. Good hype there. Could you imagine, like, if I was playing this game by myself, I wouldn't have all these, like, ingredients to, like, choose from. So thankful for you guys. Thank you guys so much. I guess we can add a hot drink, or I can just walk away from the hot drink, or just add, you know, let's add the Robbie. It's a seasonal drink. It's a cold drink. It doesn't have the foam, but I think it's doing the job. Yeah, it will do the job. Wonderful. Awesome to see. All right, let's see here. Let's just get that little bit of... Let's just watch this real quick, right? Let's just watch this... Catch this money. <laughs> There's all this money piled through. I love when these boosts come in, and then you just see the customers come through, and then, like, the money game is just absolutely strong. This gives me a, you know, a chance to drink my own coffee. Yeah, definitely. Right. Yeah, this is wonderful. I love this. This right there, if, this, if there is anything that arouses me in life, it's this. Well... I mean, come on, right? Anyways, uh, green beans for sweet dreams will expire in less than five minutes. That's fine. It's like a do it, like pushing it away. Like it's fine. Like I know what I can't get out of it. I can't get anything out of it because I don't have the right equipment to get anything out of it, right? I gotta, you know, face the challenges. I will say, I think the challenges are way grindy for this late into the game. I think they're pretty heavy on the grind, but. Um, We'll have to see. I feel like... Now, I've only touched the roaster a couple of times. But I feel like the roaster is a very complicated thing to do. Um, it's not easy. <laughs> I could be wrong about that. But I, I feel like that's the case. <laughs> like, it's it's kind of hard to, to do. So, that was good. Alright, so we did the boost there. Alright, that's fine. I just wanted to see that go through. Let's go back to the HQ now. Sorry, go back to the HQ. Uh, see where our idle income has now changed on that store. Where was that? At the Celeste? Uh, 3493. Did that change? I'll be honest with you. Wasn't paying attention. I don't remember if that changed or not. But it is making more money than park location, which is good. Has about the same services, but different amount of employees. Has three at park location. Now, if I were to add a third employee to uh, Lake Celeste, would that change my idle income? Maybe. I don't know. But let's go to Pinewood now. Let's head to Pinewood and fix that up a little bit. Is this Pinewood? Yep, go to Pinewood. Go to Pinewood. Do what we need to do. Um, really, there's not too much that we have to do here. We have a couple of customers coming through here. Or, sorry, a couple of uh, um, employees here. What we really need to do is we need to add some services. So, activate that. Activate that. Activate that. That. And that. Not the compositables. Compositables. That's a hard word for me to say, too. All right continue now where do we stand here as far as level we have a level five employee a level five employee pretty much good very simple now that i've had the services does that add more to to the coffee shop possibly maybe i think here at least a good thing to do is maybe just add more like more seating right let's add more seating to this so like a nice cedar we'll put this uh i would like this to, to face the other way though uh, but we'll put this over here rotate there we go. And then we'll buy it again. Again, rotate. Buy it. Let's do the whole wall. Buy it. 
And then over here, if I can, I would like to move that just slightly up. Sorry, I did not mean to move that chair. There we go. And then slightly up. Again, did not mean to move the chair. Did I lose a chair? Did I lose a fourth chair? What the hell happened to my chair? Um, That'll be enough room. Yeah, that should be enough room. Okay, okay. Now let's go back to this. And we want to go... Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, No, no, no. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Okay. Chairs. Bartending chairs or bar stool. Sorry, not bartending. There we go. We'll do this. And that's good. Go down the line. Like a giant wall of awesomeness. Now, how many people, right, can we fit into this? Oh, this is going to be good. Did I accidentally put stuff in my inventory? No. Okay. There we go. Woo! I feel like I need to buy another chair back there, though. What the hell happened there? Um, what chair is that? That's the... Is that a wood chair? Wood chair in a different color? Wood chair? Yeah. Okay. Now. Once... Oh, God damn it! Once this place pops off, some items are misplaced. What, what's misplaced? What's misplaced? Oh, I guess I had a duplicate. That's dumb that you can do that right there. That's dumb that you can duplicate that. That's, that's no, that's ridiculous. Okay, there. I, I, items duplicated. Why? Sell. God damn it. That, all right, now I just lost a chair. What? is duplicated some items are misplaced you tell me what it is and i'll fix it no 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 what is what what, what what's happening here these bar stools aren't misplaced right everyone can access those some items are misplaced you tell me dude you tell me that's fine okay these are fine these should be fine this good question mark good and maybe like add that chair back again right there send me okay what the hell happened that was crazy i don't know but look at this lineup here right this lineup is incredible now they have nothing to look at right wrong we're gonna change that they're gonna have something to look at um they're gonna see like a uh, painting <laughs> wall decor galore they're going to see tigers. They're going to see keep calm. They're going to see le côté. Le côté? Le côté? They're going to see... What else are they going to see? A flavor wheel. No. They're going to see Randy War. That's what they're going to see. All of that. Thank you. Okay. Right. Now, I want to see this entire wall lined up full of people. That's what I want to do. So, I, I kind of want to low-key, like, sit here. Okay, pumpkin spice syrup at, during winter. Yeah, we'll do that. Pumpkin spice during winter. Let's see. Featured drink. This is the this is the part, right? This is the part where we kind of, like, go in. Hot. Seasonal. It's, it's not the right season, but it's pumpkin sweetness, and we'll add it. Nonetheless. There we go. We got everything but the, but the season there. Okay. Now, featured drink. Give me pumpkin spice, baby. Do we not have a lot? Of, we don't have a lot of pumpkin spice uh, uh, topping, but we're going to use the Christmas cheer coffee here. That's going to work out very well. Thank you. Thank you. And then anything else that's hot and wintry. See, this is the, the see, I told you we were missing a lot of wintry drinks. I think it's because we're actually in spring in real life. So people are like, you know what? Thinking about refreshing drinks instead of hot and cold drinks and not holiday drinks. But there we go. Okie dokie. Uh, hang on a sec. Where does the supply manager? Does the supply manager like, is he doing his job? Is he activated? Looks like he is activated. Why is this in the way? Okay. Oh, no. That's bugging out. Oh, no. It's in the middle of the screen. Oh, no. Go away, drink information. But all I want to do is... All I want to do is see this. I want to see them line up during this boost. That's it. I want to see the money, like, come through. Okay, why isn't our special ingredients coming in? My, my man. My man. My man, special ingredients. You need to activate that. What the hell are you doing? Come on now. Two crates. Get that going on. Get it going on, man. Work yourself together. Work yourself together. 
Okay, we're lining up people now. Starting to line up. I want a whole train of people right here. 60 So if you get all these people into your into your your coffee shop and they all sit down, all of those people have a 60% chance of rebuying coffee, which is insane, right? Look at all those three in a line. They all just walked right on out. But they have a chance to reorder coffee, which is just good for you, you know? That's good chances. So if you can line up a bar like this and hope that they, like, rebuy, wonderful stuff, right? Still aiming for $400,000, though. I hate this thing in the way. I apologize. Let's get a little bit closer in here. There we go. $300,000. When is our next payment? Uh, oh, we just got paid in our, um, in our dividends. Let's see where our dividend does lay, though. So now we get paid... A hundred and about a hundred and twenty thousand dollars in dividends, which is awesome. Yeah, kind of just let it go now, right? Yeah, just let it go. No big deal. All right, very well. Let's go ahead and head back to the to the HQ. Now, for the HQ, let's see. That store was sitting around twenty four, twenty five hundred thousand, or sorry, twenty four to twenty. $500 in idle income. Did that change now? Yes. <laughs> it dramatically changed. It like increased by $1,200. So now our idle incomes across the board are pretty much consistent, right? They're hovering around the $3,500 uh, $3, to $3,700 mark, which is good. That's more money in our pockets, right? So that's, that's, that's wonderful. We have a lot of money to invest into a new shop now. Sorry, I did not mean to do that. I meant to go to the world. Emerald City, which is, seems to be the last level or the last city that you can go to, at least for now in early access until the game does come out. Looks like Emerald City is the way to go. So a historic building with an imposing facade ready to become a home for the ultimate coffee experience. $150,000? Send me off. Do you really want to buy the store? I would advise you have at least $200,000 in the bank before you, you launch it. I'm ready, dude. Send me. Uh, do you want to transfer employees? Interesting question. I want to say no to this, though. I don't want to transfer employees. I want to use my money to go out and, and find the best of the best. So, we finally meet again. I have been playing, paying close attention to your ondivores in the world of coffee. Remember the, that advice I wanted to give you back then? Well, I think you are ready to hear it. As you are already noticed, you will only be able to become a coffee shop tycoon by roasting your own coffee. The best machines are too advanced for anything that you can buy straight out of the market. Only by roasting your own coffee, you will be able to use the full potential of such espresso machines and brewers. The better your coffee grading, the higher your bean rating will be. I have one final challenge for you. There's particular bean rating that only I, Mr. Lato, has ever achieved. The Diamond Bean. Achieve that rating, and you will open the doors to coffee heaven. I have been there, and let me tell you, it is worth it. We will talk again, and when we do, I will be waiting to open the doors myself. Au revoir. Au revoir. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> Did I miss something? Oh, it, look Look at this place. We have come a long way from that tiny little shop you started with something. Or with. Something tells me this location is going to be special. It is also a great space to place a big coffee roaster. I don't think I could teach anything else. You have bested me in every aspect of coffee making. Now it is time to lay back, eat a muffin, and enjoy the great coffee you have been able to create. Maybe legends are true. You will become the second person alive to achieve Diamond Bean. Looking forward to seeing that one day. I have to go. Best of luck with Emerald City, although I know you don't need it. All right. Well, there we go. Very cool. So finish 10 roasting challenges. We've already done 20%. So we've already finished two roasting challenges. $165,000. Um, do we have enough money to start off this business? I would say yes. There is one thing that we haven't like done yet, and that's purchase flatbread for 10K. Right? Um, so that, that, that'll come eventually. That'll come eventually. Okay. So for this, we are going to spend $50,000. It's more of a status symbol more than anything. It's not a functionality increase. The best thing you get from going from the round counter is the round counter gives you one extra air pot. It's a status symbol. Send me off 50 K baby. Okay. So let's see here. Let's go. How do I want to actually do this? Uh, we want to go rotate. Okay. So 
this is the cashier. This is where people would order, right? I kind of like the fact of maybe putting it way off. No. I like it in the middle. Yeah, I do like a centerpiece. Not up against the wall, because I do plan on putting probably the roaster back there. So at least in the beginning, this is fine, right? And then let's go ahead and uh, move over to employees. Very, very important. So we have $115,000. If I spend 60K on a barista or cashier, I'm not going to have enough for inventory or for uh, machines. We might have to come back here. I will say we might have to come back here. But for right now, let's go barista 60K. Gives me 30 level, or sorry, level three, which I hate. Oh, there's level four. Okay, good. That's good. Okay, we want level four. We do want level four so we can have that specialization in. Fabian Saunders, get hired. Okay, Fabian, you will be adjusted. Excuse me. You'll be adjusted to 15%. And then you will have cashier and barista, I guess. Skills impacted by doing multiple. So his barista will be lower and his service will be 40% lower, I guess, because he's doing both roles. Um, but I do want you to become a automatic barista yeah I, I think automatic barista is probably the best i want you to fill two air pots i guess for now that's fine but now you need equipment <laughs> um and i do want to buy the best of the best first so advanced brewing 9k air pot probably one for now grinder and then um Espresso grinder. What else do we need? Do we need anything else? Advanced brewer. Okay, espresso. And then a blender this time. Don't forget. Okay. That's wonderful. Good. Okay. Now, I don't know if I need anything else. I might need something else. I'm not sure. Manager. All of our drinks here, right? Normal menu. Add drinks. We'll add all the, the, the regular kind of stuff, right? Honestly, actually, hang on a sec. Where does this stand? Let's go to the HQ. Who is the demographic here? Who's the demographic at Emerald City? Can we see? Uh, marketing? It's split even. Oh, all right. Well, that's wonderful. So split even. It's 100% split even. Okay. Um, in that case... We're going to do just the basic drinks. No, not a featured drink. Good God almighty. We're going to do the basic drinks on the normal menu. And then when time does come, we will add, you know, the specialty drinks that need to be specialized or you know what I mean? So latte, mocha, cappuccino, all that good stuff. Um, white mocha. I don't want to add seasonal drinks. I don't. I really, really don't. I, I want to keep all these specialty drinks available for the featured. Iced coffee. And I think that's fine for now. Just those for now, right? Okay, let's just see. If I open this, what's going to happen? I'm curious. She's upset. She's upset. Okay, why were they upset? Can we see why they were upset? Upset. Okay, I need coffee beans, you idiot. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I do, I do need coffee beans. Okay, order coffee, because he's only he's only an automatic brewer. He's not a supply manager. I get it, I got it, sorry. Um, One pound of that, and then let's get food in. We'll order um, one crate, and then we'll order ingredients. One crate, there we go. Okay, there we go. I have to walk so far just to come in. Hey, dude, look at that. The forehead, man. He's like on the on the face of the building. You love to see it. Wait till our supplier. All right, so our supply is in. He's going to automatically brew. Drinks that are being, uh, you know, trending are sea salt drinks. Perfect timing. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go drinks. Let's make um, a featured sea salt drink. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. What season is it? Winter? This is a cold drink. Vern Special does have sea salt. However, it is a cold drink. Same with the Robbie. Robbie has cold. We'll add it. It's not good. Not good. Not good. The Robbie. Sorry. Very cold during the winter. Can't. Should have. Shouldn't have done that. Let's do the Christmas cheer. There we go. That brings us back up. 
And then let's do um, another winter hot. Yeah, another winter hot if we can find. Oh, I forgot about the vanilla pups and the chocolate pups. I should put that on the normal menu, honestly. I should. Yeah, if it, if it lets me, I'm going to add that and put that to the to the normal um, menu there. Hot death by chocolate. Perfect. Seasonal drink. Okay, hang on a sec. Drinks. Add drink. Yes. Good. Good. Wonderful. Go. Okay. Here comes the, like, first boost of Emerald City. I feel like I've been Pokemon, dude. I swear to God. Okay, just give it a sec. Okay, now you did it. Now give them the coffee. Spring is here. Okay, there we go. Now we're making money. What do we need? We need decor rating and popularity, right? Decor is going to be something we just throw like, some tables and chairs. We have $142,000. Okay, so we just got our dividend at the beginning of the year. Good to know. I think. I don't know. Yeah, we did get our dividend, I'm assuming. So, that gives us the ability to go ahead and hire... I do like it generally. We'll hire a cashier. Cashier that will do full-on supply managing. Service 240, 256, 265, 265, 273, 273, 278. Truman. The Truman Show? Get hired. Okay. Truman. Where's Truman? This is Fabian. Fabian, I need you to not be a barista. Fabian... Or, sorry. I don't need you to be a cashier. I need... This gentleman to be a cashier, you be a barista. Swap your roles, confirm. And then I need uh, Mr. No, Mr. Uh, Truman. I need you to be our supply manager that does this, activate activates this, and then you will order three pounds. Some of that coffee might go old right off the bat. I will say, but you know, preparing for the future more than anything. I think this is gonna blow up, kind of like this. Not, yeah. You know, I think this this. This shop is going to blow up in popularity wise. So that's why I'm kind of preparing for the future in that case. I like that. There we go. Okay. That's good. I'm happy. Everything's activated. Cool. Cool. Okay. So now the next thing I need to do as an owner, sorry. Next thing I need to do as an owner is I need to go ahead and add some tables and chairs. What kind of tables and chairs you might ask? Really, we can fill this thing to the brim of people. Like we can have this to be one of the most pop in places of all time uh like a ton of people here right absolute ton of people there we go i know i got a little quiet <laughs> okay let's rotate this okay this is cramming people up in this right we're gonna do that that's that's the whole point is i, I want to bring all these people in i do we'll do the connoisseur very expensive chairs now i know we're, we're not gonna be able to fill out every uh seat here just because price but at least we can get a few in there we go all right we're down to two thousand dollars that's fine i'm not afraid okay people will sit down now and we'll fill out the rest of those chairs as we go now where does that put us in decor rating it puts us at the right place where we get the one star reputation perfect good job uh now we just need a little bit more decor rating which we will do we'll just add that one chair probably and that will get us where we want decor rating wise there we go. I think that put us where we needed, right? Yeah, 102. Perfect. All right, continue. Good stuff. Good job. Good job. Now, obviously, we want to get our roaster in, too, at this place, especially when we get the giant roaster and things like that. But right now, we're okay. Uh, services. People are complaining about services here. So let's already give them the service that they need. They want Wi-Fi, you get Wi-Fi. You want advanced supply, you get advanced supply. You want coffee rewards, you get that. Air conditioning, heating, you get that as well. Music, you get that as well. Now, big question. Do I do compositables? Because this will increase our reputation by 20%. $10,000 a month. Send it. Let's see where that puts us. I think some of those people were kind of confused on how to get out. I think these chairs are too close to each other. I don't think some of these guys could have got out of the chairs there. I'll keep my eye on that. We might need to move, the, like, scoot these chairs back a little bit. Okay, market normalized. That's fine. New store. So we get a franchise bonus of a new store where people come in and they're like, oh, new store. This is fun. Let's, you know, check this place out, right? Rep Reputation has already increased to two stars. Look how fast we're blowing through these, like... 
uh, reputation as, you know, stars, I guess. In the meantime, let's go ahead and 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 click on our boy here. Okay, no, we need we actually need more. So let's go more air pots because we only have one. We need to add another, another, and another. Okay, so we have four. That should fix this whole dealio. Is it Fabian? Brewery? Brewer? I would like two air pots filled. Yeah, two air pots filled. Okay. Looking good. I'm going to scoot these chairs out. I'm actually going to watch it. I'm going to watch these chairs to see where this puts us. Because I thought they were having a little bit of trouble here. The customers did. Might have been overlooking that a little bit, but... We'll see. I'll keep my eye on it. Other than that, everything is going swell. <laughs> everything is going very, very swell. Uh, probably, like, picture-perfect start of a new coffee shop, right? Opening up a new, right? It took how many coffee shops to not, like, fail? This is fine, right? This is good. We are spending $10,000 on compositables, which is crazy in itself, right? Absolutely insane. So, I don't know if our profit margin here is high. Probably isn't right now. Probably nowhere near. But we want the reputation more than the profits right now. Because we make money elsewhere, right? With our idle income. Um, especially when we're about to hit, like, another, like, dividend, right? Getting towards the 400k, though, is a little bit more of a struggle now. But we're all right. Boom. There we go. $132,000 just came through. That's good. We can go ahead and get our decor back up here because we're going to need it if we want to get to uh, three stars. So let's make sure we do that. I want to go here, grab a connoisseur, add that there, uh, buy another, add that there, 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 and you know the rest. Did I put that right? Oh, God. Okay, good. Okay. $96,000. Have all the equipment we need. I think everything... Do we have a blender? I think we have a blender, yeah? We better have a blender. Yeah, we do have a blender. Okay. Blender we have. Wonderful. Yeah, so this is all good. So now we have the rating up to where we need. We're going to hit three stars here in just a second. I think this next customer might give us three stars. No. Next customer after this. There we go. So now we are at three stars already in our reputation. Very, very good. People are now going to be starting to come even more in bigger masses, right? At bigger volume. That might change how we run our supply chain, possibly. Actually, it doesn't because we're not that really worried about it. We can get up to the bean management with, with what we've been doing so far already, so we're fine. $14,000 in idle income is how much we make. Now, I don't know how much we spend in idle. So, like, when our idle income, so, like, every month, what is our monthly expenses? compared to our income expense you know our income i don't know what that is okay so drinks prepared with white chocolate it is a summertime so we're looking for a cold drink right cold drink white chocolate cold drink white chocolate nothing i don't in thinking about it i don't think anybody has ever suggested white chocolate yet <laughs> And there we go, right? Um, so we're going to go kind of basic. We're going to put these mocha frappes, cappuccinos, um, and frozen caramels. Just because they're cold and seasonal, they all don't have white chocolate, but at least it helps us better than hurts us, right? So good there. Very, very low on the hype, but it's better than nothing, right? Absolutely better than nothing. We're going to need to add more decor rating, which I honestly just think more chairs will be fine. There we go. More chairs. Bye. There. Bye. Bye. Okay. Cool. That's fine. That, that should put us up to where we need to be, right? Yeah, 174 out of 160. There we go. Okay, now people start coming in. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at all these people in here. This place is going to be like... It's going to be smashed, dude. We're going to get this place really up and going. So, rival company, drive through room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drive room room trending. Oh, it's trending now. Get out of here. We've been invited to the to the latte awards, like 10k. What's 10k now, right? 
I want to go for Triton. I do. I do want to go for Triton. Uh, what is the others? So this is 396. Yeah, there's no point of going for the others right now. I think Triton is the, is the way that we go. We were featured in a local newspaper. Okay, good. Yeah, 414,000 still. We'll still uh, head towards that. What's that negative boost? Oh, the rival store. Oh, dang it. We didn't even get anything from the newspaper because of that rival, uh, rival pickup. Dang it. That's all right. I love this big, giant brick wall. <laughs> Market normalized. Perfect. And there we go. A little bit, little, little bit of newspaper boost, but not a lot. Where are we at? Decor. So we're good at decor. I want to get to four stars real quick. Four stars. This is going to happen fairly quickly here. We just sit here, wait for it. We'll get four stars up and running here at Emerald City. Or 10K from the Du Latte. Yeah, 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 yeah. If it's us, I, I guess it's us, yeah. No, it's not. It's a, it's again, we rank 12th. Go F yourself, honestly. <laughs> rank 12? Are you kidding me? We're one of the, like the best companies of all time. $214,000 now. I think our dividend came in or our idle income. I'm not really sure. Reputation has increased. So there we go. We are now finally a four-star uh, coffee shop, which we can add a little bit more chairs to get our decor up as well. So we'll do that. Add there. Kind of just fill these guys in, dude. Really. There we go. Hopefully they don't get trapped. I don't think they will. If they do, I'll just push these tables back again. How are we doing decor? Perfect on decor. Decor is fine. Yeah, now all we have to do is get to five star. Other than that, we're doing fairly well with ourselves. Anyways, that's going to do it today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Coffee Shop Tycoon. If you liked the video, please make sure to hit that like. And if you made it this far into the series and you have not subscribed to the channel, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> just kidding. Anyways, do take care.